Welcome to User Online, the channel where I explore all things UX and UI design. We're running for another tip today, and this is with the star shape. Now you've obviously probably seen this under the shapes panel here, but probably have never used it, probably have never seen it, probably had no use for it. I wanted to make a quick video just to explain what this does, how you can use it, and explore the different options it comes with as the star shape. So we've got a regular star here, and if we select it, we see we've got three points that pop up. Now, one of them's called the radius, and we can drag in and out, and that changes the radius of each point of our star. If we set that back to zero, we've also got our ratio, which we can also change by dragging in and out. And this last one is the count, and this allows us to create many different shapes from our one star shape. Now combined, we can come up with some really cool shapes here. But that's not the only way to change the, the options here. If we come over to the right, as always, we can drag over the icon. We can also use the up and down arrows, hold and shift, we can increment by 10. And if we come over here to the ratio, we can see that we can do exactly the same thing by dragging over the icon once again, up and down arrows, we can increment by 10 by holding shift, and of course we have our radius as well. And once again, by holding shift. You can change the radius by going up and down using the arrows. So this is pretty much it for our star shape. I'm not sure if any of you has used this on any of your any of your designs before, but I would definitely get to exploring because there's many different things you could do. It's also an easy way to begin making custom shapes. I don't know if any of you have seen my, my video on custom shapes in Adobe XD, but one easy way to get started using custom, making custom shapes for your different designs is get using a default shape. See the options that are available, have a little play around and see what you can come up with. You might be able to come up with something that makes a really interesting mask. On the note of masks, here's one thing that I did when I was coming up with a thumbnail for one of my previous videos using custom shapes. I took a circle, I double clicked on that, and then I took these points down. Then I took this point down here, I took this point up here, and I just gently pushed that outwards. And that gave me the shape that you see here. And that's how quickly you can start making really interesting shapes for your different designs by using regular shapes and playing around with the options that Figma has available. Yes, this was done in Adobe X, this tutorial is in Adobe XD, but the shape itself for the thumbnail was done in Figma, and you can do the same in Adobe XD as well. Let me know if you use this in your next design, and let me know how you get on in the comments below, as always.